This conference will now be recorded. Uh, good, e good evening, everyone. My name is Adam Antone. I'm the office support staff member for the Pacinimo district. Uh, tonight, I'll be presenting the slideshow uh, about the history of the Pacinimo district. Uh, I will be stopping the video so that way I can uh, describe and read to uh, the viewers who are just listening in. So um, we're going to go ahead and start. This is a slideshow, so we, so it's a it's a video, and um, let's just go ahead and get started. So I'm going to pause it there and just give a brief description to those who are listening in. So Pisinmo or Pisinimo is the autumn name for bison or buffalo head. Early autumn settlers found a bison head in the area, and thus the area became the name Pisinmo. Pisinmo district has 18 communities, existing or uninhabited. Santa Cruz, San Simon, Goop, Nestor, and Durburn still exist today. However, Durburn is, is uninhabited. The majority of Durburn members reside in the Pisinmo community. The original road to Pisinmo is located just off Highway 86 at mile marker 83. The current road is about five or six miles west of its original route near the community of San Simon, which is also known as Indian Route 21. Now we're going to go into uh, the year 1900 to 1950. I'm 
So we're going to pause there. So in 1910 to 1934, the Samoa Trading Post opened by Mr. Claude Sutherland. On July 4th, 1955, James Robinette took ownership of the store and later built a new one. Presently, the trading post has been demolished. In 1920, Father Augustine opens new school in Pissimo, known as San Jose Mission School. The first teacher was Frank Vasquez, a native resident of Santa Cruz Village. Presently, three buildings remain of the old San Jose Mission School, which are the church, uh, a classroom building, and the father's home. In 1965, the Good Friday fire nearly destroyed the cafeteria. The community handled the situation in less than an hour. The fire was contained with garden hoses and a bridge of, of buckets. Today, the Pismo Rec Center stands on the grounds of the mission school. In 1932, Cody and Marianne Tracy opened Tracy, Tracy's Trading Post in San Simon Community. The store has been demolished for some time now. So now we're going to go into 1960 to uh, 1970. right there. <clears throat> so in 1962, the PAC 141, also known as the Pissimal Club Scouts, first joined together. Training included character development, citizenship, and physical fitness. In 1970, classes for Head Start began 
in Pusimal under the direction of Mrs. Frances Mc McLaughlin of Tucson. Lillian, Fayon, and Alice Wan was were among the first to be teacher aides in 2003. Sorry, the original Head Start was demolished and a new center was built on the exact ground. In 1976, San Simon Elementary School opens and still continues to serve the communities today. October 8 to the 14, 1978, the Institute of Cultural Affairs organized the Pissima Human Development Consultation. The work, they worked on homes in the communities and were constructed from adobe and cement plaster to protect the adobe from occasional rings. Now we're going to go into the Pissima laundromat and snack bar. Pause right there. So, the Sima Laundromat and Snack Bar was one of the projects they constructed. Today, the building houses the Pissima Development Authority equipment. Over the years, it was converted from a laundromat and snack bar to a snack bar and video rental store. Presently, the district currently owns uh, an Adobe Maker and has built or remodeled several homes from the for community members. In 1978, the community of Pissima, 10 homes were constructed by the Papago Housing Authority, today known as Kiki Association. Pissima District Office construction began around 1978 to 1979 and completed in the early 1980s. In 1978, San Simon and Pissima communities received electricity. We're going to go into the year 1980 to 1990. <laughs> So a quick pause. So in 1985, Donatham High School groundbreaking ceremony um, took place. Two years later, in 1987, relay runners started run in Santa Cruz community, kicking off the ground grand opening of Donatham High School. Now we're going into the year 1990 to 1999. Oh, my God. 
So between 1990 and 1999, Pismar District gathers youth to participate in sports, cultural exchanges, and performances such as, such as the youth co-ed baseball team, the Pismar Pirates, the Red Ribbon Runners, Pismar Youth Korea Group, and Hawaii Cultural Exchange uh, Trip. Now we go into total camp throughout the years. So we're going to pause right there. So total camp throughout the years, in 1987, the Sisters of San Jose Mission School started Mission San Jose Summer Day Camp with the help of volunteers from California. By the mid 90s, Pete and Sue Fullerton took over the mission, took over the Mission San Jose Day Camp and renamed it Truck of Love. In 1999, Pete and Sue Fullerton retired and gave ownership to Scott and Mandy Bell. That same year, a survey was done to rename, rename the camp. An anonymous person came up with the name Thanatum Chuck of Love Camp, which also means total. Today, Thanatum Chuck of Love Camp is run by the Pissima District and is held every summer at the Pissima Recreation Center. Total Camp has activities such as arts and crafts, sports and games, culture and leadership, volunteers, youth workers, and tribal programs assisted in the success of the camp every year. Student volunteers of 
St. Francis High School from Mountain View, California, also come and assist with camp. Now we're gonna go into uh, Pissimaw District Royalty. So the Pismo District Royalty started in 1997. Pismo District held its first Miss Pismo Attraction pageant and crowned Romilda Josemaria as its first royalty. Two years later in 1999, the Pismo Royalty Committee introduced a new title for, for Junior Miss Pismo. Seychelles was crowned as its first. In 2005, the title Little Miss Pissima Direction was added to the competition. Annette Garcia was crowned as its first winner. In 2017, the Pissima Royalty celebrated its 20th year of pageantry. Today, young women and girls continue to compete for the titles. Uh, our current royalty, um, because we had no pageant last year, we have the current royalty holding on to the title for another year. Now we're going to go on to Pissima District celebrations. <laughs> So Pissima District um, celebrations, the district has has numerous celebrations such as the St. Francis arrival celebration, October 4th celebration of St. Francis and our, our, our Pissima District Day. And we do have our very own local band known as Tether Spirit. And we have our Pissima traditional singers. And now we're going to go into local and tribal business office.
So for local and tribal business office, on November 14, 2001, Pissimaw District opens new elderly center located in the Pissimaw community next to the recreations, Pissimaw Recreation Center. On November 3rd, 1993, Indian Health and Human Service opened the Westside Clinic trailer in the community of Pissimaw to assist the members of the Western Districts with medical care. In 2008, the building was closed, the building closed its doors and relocated. On January 19, 2008, San Simon Clinic, formerly known as the Westside Clinic, opened open and is located just off Highway 86 near Tonatam High School. A year after the opening of San Simon Clinic, new housing was added to the area for local and off-nation health employees. Now we're going into uh, communities, the early years. So for those of you who are just listening in, uh, we just saw a few photos of their communities in the early early years, such as Santa Cruz. Uh, and nesters. There are plenty other communities out there as well, and um, we'll show a few of them coming up. Right now, we're going into historical locations and uninhabited communities. <laughs> So for historical locations and uninhabited communities, the Pissima District Garden, I'm not quite sure where it was located in, in the community. We also have farming fields. 
and the community of Beachwood, which is uninhabited right now. It's located north of Pacinimo. The forward operating defense system, which is located near San Simon community, just off the highway of uh, 86. You can still see it from the road. The Arizona Department of Transportation, ADOT Maintenance Yard near San Simon, which is uh, west of San Simon, also just off the road. Ani Wucho community, which is uninhabited, and it's it's just off Route 21 between San Simon and Pacinimo. Uh, Paso, Paso Blanco is uninhabited, and it's near Highway 86, mile marker 85. You can see it off the off 86. You can see the windmill. Heart of Mud community, which is uh, between the cinema and Santa Cruz. The only thing that's out there is the cemetery, which you saw in the photos, and it's also uninhabited. Hashan Geek uh, is, is uninhabited. It's also between the cinema and Santa Cruz, and it's off just off the road of 21. You can still see the foundation of the remains. Lishan Jin is, uh, is uninhabited. Uh, what remains is just uh, mounds of dirt where homes used to be. Dirtburn community is between Big Fields and Goop. The only thing out there right now is just the cemetery. I mean, I'm sorry, the church. And like I said before, majority of the Dirtburn community members reside in the Samoa community. Now we're going to go into the remains of remains of the old ways. So I'm going to pause right there. So in remains of the always, we show photos of uh, wagons, um, tools, some utensils, uh, pieces of pottery. I'm not quite sure where these locations were, uh, I mean, sorry, where these photos were taken at. Now we're gonna go into investing in the future. So investing in the future, we saw in the new Pacinema Community Feast House, which was completed in March of 2000 and, I'm sorry, excuse me, 2021. Santa Cruz and Goob Community Feast Houses are currently in development. Opening, uh, the Traveling Eagle is now open, and which has a subway, laundromat, and tire and lube shop, and it is 24 hours. It's located off Highway 86, just west of the San Simon 
uh, clinic. So that's our presentation for Bissamal District. Thank you, Adam. Um, and now we'll see if anyone has any questions or comments. Good evening, I have a question. Sure. Um, I wanted to know, did they, are they still making their Adobe bricks? Are they, is that still in, still being made? I will have um, Stanley Cruz, who is our uh, answer that question. Okay. Uh, yeah, enough. Uh, I don't know if you saw that picture. Uh, that we make from a uh, machine. It's an Adobe machine that makes compressed Adobe blocks. And we can make up to 2,000 blocks a day. And we can. Uh, and when they come out of the machine, they're already dried and ready to stack. So there's no need to put them out in the sun and wait for days to dry um, because they already come out. They're compressed, so they, they're already they're ready to use once they come out of the uh, machine. So those are the kind of blocks we make today using the machine. And it's still being done, Hummel? Yes. Oh, okay. uh, so so do you have um, any projects that um, that show the those bricks or are you working on any projects right now that show those bricks yes there was one in the I think there was two in the uh, presentation two houses that were dead one in Santa Cruz and then one in San Simon that were uh, or two in San Simon we already finished one uh, one of those uh, one one room uh, houses with a with bathroom addition. And then the, this last one that we're doing, or this one that we're doing now is a, is a two, two bedroom, a living room and a kitchen, uh, inside, inside restroom. So we're finishing up on that one. So we've done uh, four houses within the district uh, using those blocks. Okay, thank you, Sapa. A uh, question: um, Are are your blocks for sale to other communities? They were. We were selling them, but then we had some issues with uh, one one of the deliveries, so we just kind of stopped selling. But uh, we're leaving it up to the person if they want to, if they want to purchase some, or the or if. Uh, um, they want to take that chance, but we um, we haven't been selling for about maybe three years. But uh, the machine that we have, it it can is mobile, so we can take it to anywhere. Like if in another district or uh, the site, we can take it to the site and makes the blocks make the box there on site. If that's something that the uh, person wants to do, but we haven't really. <clears throat> We haven't really um, done have had to do that part, but but we can. Uh, if that's something that the uh, person wants us to uh, use the machine, uh, or we can take the machine, our workers, uh, and make the box on site. Does it have to have some kind of special soil, or has some, what, what kind the of soil? Well, there's a mixture of uh, clay. Sand, uh, Portland cement, and lime. They're all mixed and then they're, they're put into the machine and, and compressed.
So, so that you get the mixture. Do you you take that mixture with the the machine wherever it's needed? Like if you no. do it somewhere else. No, we Go can uh, from the area. We can get it from oh, the area. Okay. I accept. Her. Are there any more questions or comments? I asked this if question. If not, sorry. I asked this question this afternoon about Nestor. Did you ever find anything out? Oh, I did it. Well, what was the name that you do? You knew of, knew of it before. Was there a different name for it? Uh, oh, okay. Ah, ah. oh, that's how I was on the map. When I was looking at that map, um, that's what he showed. They give that name. Um, oh. I wasn't sure. It was a tricky. If there are no other questions or comments, um, I would want to thank um, Adam, Anton, and Stanley Cruz and the entire district for their presentation. Thank you all and have a good evening. Thank you for attending the virtual presentation series on the districts of the Tahana Autumn Nation. Thank you. What district is next and when? Sorry, too late. Uh, hello, my name is Richard Bob. We will be presenting the next three districts will be the Wall District, St. Lucie, and Savoy Duck District. And those will be in September. So um, yeah, tune in and we'll send out flyers and PSAs for, for when, when that when this presentation will come uh, come about. Okay, thank you. Good job, Bissinama District. It was very interesting. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.